Okay, so this is gonna be my final state of the collection video. I know I'm a couple weeks behind on that, but I want to get this out. This is my final one. This is kind of a collection of a couple different drawers, and it's just my fixed blade collection. I know I don't go through a bunch of fixed blades on here. I don't know why. I guess I should. I could do a review on some of these. But let's get on into it real quick so we can see what I have in the fixed blade world here. All right, we're gonna start kind of inexpensive. This is the buck. I bought it for the name, the Mr. Crappie. Yeah, for all you sophomores out there, let's all giggle together. Okay, then I got this, of course. What collection would be complete without a Mora? That's a great knife, and it's pink and purple. Oh yeah, and I got this one, this one's awesome. <laughs> This thing, holy heck. I think if you had to spend 15 bucks or whatever this is, 20 bucks, and go out in the jungle with one knife, this might be it, 20 bucks. Holy, holy camoly, holy Mr. Crappie. That's a great knife. All right, here's another good one. These are some of the first ones that I ever beat up here. Remember that one? I beat that one up pretty nicely. This is a good knife, inexpensive and just just awesome to beat up on. You take that one out in the woods and destroy it. Here's one I got for a present a couple about a year and a half ago. Yeah, little shred boy. Ugh, that's a lot of knife there. A lot of knife. Okay, let's keep going here. I don't want to bore you guys. So I got a box here and a little box. I'm going to Try and get there. Oh, I love this knife. This is the Cold Steel Medium Warcraft. Man, they oiled this thing up nicely. Oh, check that out. In that 3V. Oh, man, this thing fits so nicely in hand. Oh, if you had to kill a car door, you'd want this. If there was a, a flock of truck hoods attacking you, this is the one that would kill them all. This is a great knife. And the, I know it's going to sound weird and kind of dorky, but the reason I got it, and I wasn't thinking, I was thinking it was some kind of weird crossover between the game Warcraft and Cold Steel, and so I had to have it. It was on a good deal. I'm pretty sure it was a flash deal at Smoky Mountain. But I couldn't find out. They just have something called Warcraft. Oh, should I go with that one? No, I'm going to keep that one for later. That one's too awesome. All right, what's this? Oh, this is a little browning. Remember I was telling you about these guys? What were these, like nine bucks, 12 bucks, something like that? That's a great knife. I have some of these for a giveaway. I might have to throw those out there someday. All right, another cold steel. I know, hard to believe. A little Peacemaker too. Excellent knife. I think I'm giving away a couple of those. Keep going. Gotta keep the rhythm going here. All right, I reviewed this one. I've been meaning to give it away. I just stuck in the bottom of a drawer. Maybe I'll stick that in a bag for somebody. Any of you piff, piff lovers that are on the list and want a fixed blade, let me know. I have to jam that into a medium sized envelope or something. Okay, let's keep going here down in the depths. Here's a little shred, not nothing little about it. Check this monster out. Oh my gosh! Holy cow, look at that thing. That is just, oh man. Look how thick that blade is. Where's my calipers? Let's check out how thick this blade is real quick, shall we? It's almost a quarter inch thick. Oh wow, that's a beast. Look at this thing. I forgot I had this thing. I forgot I had a lot of these things. I should break these out and do some more reviews on them. All right, so there's the Shrade. This is the SCH36. I'm not sure what the code name is for it. Code name, you're a doofus. I'll figure it out later. That's a great knife. All right, let's keep going here. Oh, the tops. Here we get some tops here. Oh, check that out. Oh, the trap, the tracker digger. 
this is two sides of deadly awesomeness so you got the world's deadliest flower shovel here You're in the garden trying to get up those petunias get some roots out maybe got some crabgrass that needs to come up and all of a sudden you're attacked by a roving gang of grizzly bears you're set all you gotta do is go Leonardo DiCaprio on him with this bad boy just slicing and dicing each way look at that thing holy cow that thing's awesome there are so many things you could use this for and it's so sharp let's see how sharp this is I'm not reviewing this yet just want to see how sharp oh, 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 oh. Holy, oh man, I love tops. I love tops. I'm just crazy about tops knives. I need to get out in the woods more. All right, here's a good top classic. Little Pathfinder from the Pathfinder School, the Dave Canterbury Pathfinder knife. I love this knife. Man, this thing feels so good in hand. This feels like you could do a lot of cool stuff with it. Great knife got most of these on flash sales or sales at midway oh this was a flash sale check this bad boy out little sog skinner here hunt point skinner hunts point it's a hunch point hunch point skinner s30v now they make the os8 but i lucked out and got this one for cheaper than what the os8 cost this is a great little knife very light compared to like the tops knives super light all right, let's keep going here. Oh, here's a classic. This is even more classic than the last classic I brought out. What do you think of tops? You think of? That's right. <laughs> the brothers of bushcraft. Oh my. Oh wow. This thing. Ooh. I gotta do more reviews on these things. I got this on such a crazy deal. They had to go back. I mean, minutes after I bought this thing, they changed the deal because. Somebody had gotten drunk at the factory and decided, hey, let's everybody have this knife for hardly anything. He was fired, and he now works down at the Conoco. And if I, if I work, I mean he sleeps behind the dumpster. All right, let's keep going. Oh, here's a good classic fixed blade beast. Oh, the BK2. You want that thick blades? Holy freak. Look at that thing. Oh, guys, gals, people that like chunky, thick knives that just want to hack on this stuff. This thing just makes my hands shake for devastating purposes. Look at that thing. Holy cow. Oh, man. You guys, if you guys like big, chunky knives, get one of these. This is like, what is it, the, the SE3 or whatever that thing is? The Rat 3, the big, thick one? This is like that one, but contoured a little bit better. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do need another sheath for that thing. I got my buddy another sheath on that. Oh, I'm running out of breath here. I'm just all, I got the vapors. These knives are something else. Oh, check this one out. This is kind of sleeker, but just as fantastic. Oh yeah, that bench made bushcraft knife. Check that out. Oh. That is fantastic. That's a great knife right there. This just feels useful and light. I mean, like if you were a marathon guy, and part of the marathon was skinning animals, and you wanted to go and, and skin animals in your marathon of skinning, that's the one you would take with you. That thing's super awesome. All right, I got four or five left, and I'm trying to determine which way to go with these. I think I've got it in my head. E mini, yeah, I'm going this way. All right, so now this is gonna tell you how awesome the rest of these are. There's four knives left, and I'm going in order of awesomeness. Least awesomeness being, oh, holy cow! Look at that. It's like the obelisk from 2001, The Space Odyssey. Ball, ball in space. No, oh, that's alien. Sorry. There you go. Sorry, Steve. We can't get it all on camera. Look at that thing. Holy freak, this is the Jessica X. This is the Jessica X before they chunked up and messed up the grind, remember that whole controversy? This thing is just insane. You wanna talk about leverage? You wanna talk about hacking through things? Oh my goodness. This thing is awesome. I wish 
I wish I was awesome enough to put this thing to the test. I need to get out in the woods. I need to go out in the woods for 30 days. Oh, it's a little dream of mine. All right. Oh, I can't close it. I can't go in the woods if I can't snap it shut. All right. So there we go. That's number four. Let's get number three. Number three. This, you're going to see, that's number three. What in the world is number two? Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that monster. The Kuma Takri. Holy freak. This is deadly on both sides. I have almost lost my thumb numerous times coming up here like this and then thinking to myself, oh, so close. So close to being a Momo forever. Check that handle out. This thing is so comfortable and so awesome. Now, there was a guy in the group, in the Facebook group. He posted the 3.5, I think it is, and it's very similar to this. It just doesn't have this, this Momo, you know, discerning edge up here. <clears throat> and that's me. I will. I, it's going to get me eventually. One of these days, you can see my hand wrapped up in gauze, and you go, oh, yeah, Kuma Takri. He got it. He told us about it. The cutting was foretold in a dream. All right, so there we go, stack. And we're almost done. This, I'm trying to make it, I'm gonna go, oh, this is a tough one. All right, this is number two. Now y'all that know me, what, you're gonna know what number one is. But holy cannoli. Oh, <laughs> the Prather War buoy. Oh my goodness, you know what? This is one of the greatest, coolest things somebody ever gave me. And a complete surprise, and it just means the world. There's one of these things that's going to be buried with me. Just something I'll never get rid of, just because of them. Be first, because it's awesome. Second, because I live in Texas, and you got to have a Bowie knife. And third, because somebody was just super thoughtful, and it just, I don't know. It was awesome. So now I got tears. I can't see clearly, but this is great. Thank you again for this, and. If you guys get a chance to get a buoy, get a Prather War buoy. This thing's a beast. Just amazing. I'm going to stab myself in the hand real quick. Holy cow. So many straps. So many points. All right. So what in the world could be number one? What in the world is... Be I think you know. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Oh, El Chete. You guys, if you like fixed blades, holy cow. This thing, I can't even, there's too many things. I'm going to have to take it in stages here. Check this out. El Chete. Oh, my gosh. Tops knows what to do with some fixed blade knives. Let me tell you what. Holy freak. This thing is sharp as you can believe. Just so sharp. It's so awesome. I just want to hack into a brisket with this thing, and I think I'm going to. I think tonight is the night El Chetty gets some blood. Not my blood, but brisket blood, maybe. All right, so there you go, folks. That is the final installment of State of the Collection. That is my fixed blade collection. Some really cool fixed blades. And I, I really I need to get in there and review these fixed blades more. And I've just been kind of slacking on that. But they are they are pretty cool. Fixed blades are awesome. Oh, wait a minute. Holy heck. I might have to redo the finale. I totally forgot until just now. I think I've showed them to you already. But for those that haven't seen it yet, let me demonstrate the uh, two awesome fixed blades that I've somehow left out of the review. Oh, a oh. couple of Demco Hawks. Check that bad boy out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed that one too. Holy cow. They're everywhere. All right, here's another Demco Hawk. Check this monster out. Tell you what, this will tear up something. This is dying to tear something up, and I think we're going to give it the chance here pretty quick. Ah. All right, put that over there. Put that over there. All right, and let's check out this. Oh, oh, man. You know what? The Machete. That is nice. Holy cow, guys. 
If you don't want to get El Chede, the Machete is not a bad option. And if you look, you can get these things on, I think I got this one on a flash deal. You got to keep your eye open because there's some sweet, sweet deals that drop. And you got to be able to pounce on them with your war chest ready to go. All right, I think that's it. I won't make you watch me clean this mess up. Get over to Facebook. I'm having a lot of fun over there. Some really cool people. Really nice people. They want to celebrate with you. They want to celebrate your El Chede with you. They want to celebrate your... They want to celebrate your Ganzo fixed blade with you. They want to celebrate everything. I'm serious. Today we probably had a... We had a Ganzo cele celebration. Somebody brought the Ganzo out and liked it. And we all liked it with them. And then somebody else had a really expensive out the front and then some you know just a bunch of cool stuff all oh, this one guy he's always trying to make me angry with his his awesome collection today he had something really cool with a choil in it that's you sir so get over there talk to some people about knives this you know it doesn't have to be you just watching you can come over there and, and chat with us and get to know us and you might not like us, but you might like some of us. And then what you do is you get on messaging and you talk about the other person, you know, at Jimmy Slash. He's a doofus. And then the other guy's like, yeah, I wish he'd shut up. And then you're like, yeah, I wish he would. Yeah, I know it happens. I made you watch. All right. Thank you all very much for enjoying my collection with me. It wouldn't be any fun if y'all weren't watching. And I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you later.